In this Ecobee tutorial, I'll show you how to use an Ecobee smart thermostat to control the humidity levels inside your home using just your air conditioner. In Florida and other areas with lots of outdoor humidity, keeping the indoor humidity under control helps keep you cool and comfortable. Your central air conditioner acts as a dehumidifier when the warm, humid air passes over the fins of your evaporator coils. The colder air cannot hold the same amount of moisture and it turns into condensation that collects into water droplets on the evaporator which are then carried out of your house along the condensation drain tube. This reduces the humidity or moisture in the air of your house, making it feel cooler and comfortable. I've set up a quick experiment to show how your air conditioner reduces the humidity inside your house. I filled this mug with ice to stand in as our AC's evaporator, and I've suspended it over this pan of hot water. As the warm air rises from the pan, it comes in contact with the colder surface of the mug, which reduces the air's ability to hold moisture. The water in the air is removed when it condenses on the surface of the mug and drips back to the pan. The same thing happens in your AC, but it is carried outside through your condensation drain. Now I want to show you why you should keep your AC fan setting on auto instead of on. When I turn on a fan here, you'll notice the water vapor doesn't condense on the mug. The water vapor carries on elsewhere. If you leave the fan always on for your air conditioner, instead of using auto, the condensation will re-evaporate into the air inside your house, which will increase the humidity. Now that we know why this works, let's go set the Ecobee programming. The Ecobee Smart Thermostat has settings you can use to reduce the indoor humidity. Primarily, this is the AC Overcool Max setting along with the fan control. In addition, you can set your desired indoor humidity levels. To start off with, let's set our AC Overcool Max setting. Now to get there, let's open up the hamburger menu, scroll down to Settings, Installation Settings, Thresholds, and then go down and look for AC Overcool Max. I have mine set to 1 degree Fahrenheit but you can set that in half degree increments all the way to five degrees. Now what that will do, like it says, is allow the air conditioner to overcool to decrease humidity. So if during its normal runtime, it's not met your threshold for comfort with regard to humidity, the system will continue to cool beyond that to whatever that setting is to try and drop the humidity some more. Next, let's make sure we have the correct fan setting. So to get there, we'll go under main menu, system, and then check fan. You should leave your fan settings to auto. Leaving it set to on, as shown in the earlier experiment, will re-evaporate the water that condensed on the evaporator coils and blow it back into your house. Letting the fan shut off will let the water collect out of the air and drain out of your AC unit through the condensation drain tube. And now lastly, if you don't have a dedicated dehumidifier for your house, you'll go to System, select Dehumidify Using AC, and enable that. You can set your preferred humidity level I'll just set that at 58 degrees for now. And now the Ecobee indicates that it will dehumidify using the AC. So I hope that you were able to use this Ecobee tutorial to control the humidity levels inside your house. If you found it useful, please click on the like button and consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you.